Hey everybody, it's Michelle, or Geeky Girl. Um, as you know, my YouTube channel is very varied. Um, we've got the hiking videos, we've got travel videos, we have the 78 RPM record videos, we have whiskey note tasting videos. I'm gonna throw another thing into the mix. <laughs> I try to separate everything into playlists, so if you're interested in one thing, you can just stick to those playlists. It's up to you. Um, let me give you some background first. Um, I have been um, selling on uh, like eBay since 1997, like a long time ago. This is, I mean, you used to accept personal checks back then, and you have to sit for a couple of weeks, make sure they're clear, and then send out the item you sell. It was insane. It's come a long way. Um, I used to sell mostly my own collections, like comic books or records, things like that. And um, on and off throughout the years. Uh, but I've kind of been inspired lately by some people that I've um, found on YouTube um, to get a little bit more active in that side hustle because it's a great way um, to, for me, I'm gonna use it to pay off debt. Um, and the, uh, I can never do it full time, I think. Um, my job is pretty decent, it pays pretty decently. I have benefits and more importantly, retirement. Um, one thing I notice about these other YouTubers, they're fairly young, I don't know if they're thinking about retirement yet, but I hope they're putting some money aside for it. Some of the guys I've been listening to, and they're mostly all guys, sometimes their wives get involved too. Um, uh, the first one I discovered was this, was this guy in South Carolina, I believe, called Harry Tornado. Um, makes excellent videos, has a very healthy YouTube channel um, because it, they're really good videos and you learn a lot. He um, he lives close to places he can source, um, like bin stores, liquidation stores. Um, unfortunately, I do not. All I have are they're your regular thrift stores, but um, yard sales and estate sales and, and garage sales seem to work better for me because um, you have to... If you find these things that you want to resell, there has to be enough um, return on investment to make it worthwhile. Um, and as a part-timer, I don't make a lot of money. Um, I just started, I decided I wanted to do this a little bit more in earnest. Um, and I just started a few weeks ago. I'm like, I'm gonna start going around to yard sales and looking for things and other places, doing some retail arbitrage, like I hit TJ Maxx's yellow tag sale and for a few things. Um, some clearance sections, um, although you have to always check comps on eBay. Um, just because you think you're getting a deal doesn't mean you can sell it for a profit. Um, and one thing I have learned, and I've been guilty of throughout the years, is just because something sells for a decent price, doesn't mean you're going to sell it right away. You have to look at how many are up for sale. Um, somebody called it a sell-through rate. So you might see a couple of the item that you have selling for you know pretty good money, but then you look and there's like a hundred of them up for sale. That's gonna sit in your shop for a long time, if you, even if you ever sell it. Um, but it's, it's, it's fun because you get to go shopping and look for bargains. And then you get this endorphin rush when you find something and you look up on your phone, you're like, oh my God, I could sell this for that much money? Oh. And you just, that feeling is, is addictive actually. But you have to have a good balance. Like, let me, uh, let me show you my death pile. I will talk about my lack of organization in a second. <laughs> my attempt at organization in a second. Um, so this is what resellers would call a death pile. Not, not the chair, the chair is just there holding stuff, but bags of stuff, um, boxes, things I picked up at yard sales, garage sales, um, <laughs> other things I just haven't posted yet. I'm getting there, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm definitely getting there, but it takes a while. <laughs> what a death pile is, is just a pile of stuff that you have um, bought, but you haven't listed yet, which means it's just inventory sitting here and you need to get it up, actually. But um, I forgot to mention other YouTubers that I follow. Like through Harry Tornado, I discovered uh, two guys in Florida that he's friends with. Um, I'm blanking on their name, Profit, Mon Profit Monsters and Joey Butterbing, your mailman. Anyways. <laughs> horrible impressionists. They're really high energy. They're really great sellers. And I learned a lot by watching their videos. And there's other people too. Like, um, I know there's a guy named Cincinnati Picker that's been doing that for a long time. Um, 
but there's others out there too if you're ever interested in getting into it just as a side hustle that's all i'm doing i just want a little bit of extra funds to hopefully pay down some debt <laughs> well, let me show you my my attempt at being um organized i'll just swing it over here so a lot of these guys use bins i have an a bin that's packed with stuff and other things that i'm selling just packed in here not everything is selling um b bin that's pretty packed i've got a little bit of room in there and i'm just starting the c bin so <laughs> that's all i got so far and then like i said some other things shoved here and there oh sorry about that it is so hot outside and the garage is pretty bad too so i had to step back inside um in future videos what i'm thinking about doing is uh, you know, maybe showing some of the things that I found at yard sales and how much I think they'll sell for, and just show them to you if you know um, if you're interested. Give me a holler uh, before I post them, or if I post them afterwards, because um, it's it's helpful helpful for me to watch the other guys' videos because they show things to be on the lookout for, and I want to do the same. Um, they call it bowling, and. Uh, um, Another great source is a, a channel called Hustlin' Hooks. It's a couple, and um, I've learned a lot from them, especially about pots and pans. <laughs> what do you have, sir? Yes, and you will see the occasional cat interrupt videos. Right, Pip? I want to give you an example of like the last, I want to say week and a half to two weeks. Um, after I started listing more things, like how much I've made uh, just on the side. And these are all stuff that I found at either yard sales or other, 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 other sources. <laughs> I swear I should do a blooper reel. I mean, I'll just leave it in there because it shows how, how untalented I am at speaking, even if it's just to a phone. Anyway, so one of my best sales was a pair of sketcher shoes, which I'll put like a screenshot to my left, to my right, over my head or something. Um, bought them for $17, sold them for, took a best offer of 50 uh, plus shipping. They, they paid for shipping. That was a nice sale. That was definitely a nice sale. I sold a uh, Enro men's dress shirt. Uh, picked it up for five bucks, sold it for $17. I sold a um, golf iron, a golf club. It was a Tommy Armor 8 iron. Bought it for like one or two bucks and uh, sold it for $15. And then I found this really interesting, it was a uh, Chicago White Sox um, garden note. It was the most bizarre thing. Picked it up for five bucks, uh, sold it for 27. I think that was the best offer too. I might be wrong about that. Um, but you, you think, wow, you made over $100. Not so much. <laughs> you gotta take other things into account. The cost of the goods, um, I didn't have to pay for shipping on any of those, so I don't have to factor that in. Maybe a little bit for shipping supplies. Um, and then you have to take into account eBay takes some fees out as well, um, like 13% or something like that. Um, so my grand total net, give or take a buck or two, for the last couple of weeks is a whopping $65. <laughs> But hey, it's $65 I didn't have before. Um, so yeah, I'm part-time and small-time, but I'm getting there. I think the more you have up, the more the sales come through. It's so echoey in that room. I apologize for that. But, well, there you have it. I just wanted to make a short little video telling you what this new this new activity is that I'm doing. Um, I will post videos on it, um, but you're, you're still going to get other videos. Um, I can't hike during the summer unless we're on the road trip. Um, because it literally is like 120, 115, 110 where I live. Um, I wish we lived closer to, um, you know, the Los Angeles area because the closest like liquidation or bin store is like two hours away and it's not really worth it to go out there. If I'm in that area, I absolutely will visit, but just for, you know, source to source of material to resell, but oh well, it is what it is, right? <laughs> All right. You guys have a good one. Stay safe. Keep cool. It's still summer. <laughs> I am so looking forward to winter. All right. I'll see you guys next time.